Canada World Champions, not here. Gibson and Hoskin finished fifth, disappointed given uh, last year at the World Championships, given they were bronze medalists last year, at uh, the year before in Poznan. Australia Germany not here. Um, they've been strong in this event, and um, uh, on home waters you'd expect them to be, so there must be something wrong in the, uh, some point of illness or injury in their boat. Buckets have come up, the see-through glass buckets holding uh, the bows dead straight. All the volunteer state boat Three, people on the left holding seven, it steady. Two, Under starter's orders, women's Great lightweight Britain double skulls. United States, Denmark, attention. Six boats and Denmark in lane number six almost went early, pushed it up to the gate, but didn't get through. They're away first time though. Greece up in lane number one, absolutely manacle in the first 100 meters. Greece in one, Netherlands in two, Great Britain two in three, Great Britain one in four, the United States in lane number five, and Denmark are in lane number six. And what an event now for the British team here, because with the men's lightweight double skulls up and running and just working perfectly, the focus has really been now on the women's lightweight double skulls. Two years ago, Great Britain's Goodsell and Hoskin were bronze medalists, disappointed with a fifth place at the World Championships last year. And here we have in the opening World Cup regatta, two crews, Catherine Tymon and uh, Andrea Dennis in lane number three, and Hester Goodsell and Sophie Hoskin in lane number four. And it's that crew that has now just moved ahead there, the British number one boat, just moved ahead, Greece, just there along uh, number two, in lane number two and number five, United States of America. They come out from nowhere, completely new crews every year, but it's the United States who have just begun to move ahead of the British dollar. Getting a little bit of breeze coming cross tail as you come through towards the 500 meter mark, but uh, shouldn't have any problem with these crews. And now the race, you look at the rating between Great Britain still staying high up there and uh, the United States of America just starting to lengthening out now 500 meters down 1500 to go racing so much going on in this race between great britain two and great britain one and then likewise great britain one have to watch the united states of america in lane number five across the semi-final qualification times the second british boat of timon and dennis were the fastest of the qualifications or the qualifiers but the teams really do step up and step on when they get into the final. But at the moment, though, Great Britain 2 in lane number 3, they are to top left of your picture. Catherine, 22 years of, old, of years of age, Oxford University Women's Boat Club, hails from Edmonton, dual nationality. She was a former Canadian junior, but she's chosen now to race for Great Britain. She sits uh, in the bow seat. Andrea Dennis, 27 years of age, from Imperial Boat Club. She's been uh, on the team for a few years. Dennis there. And now we're looking at Goodsell and Hoskins from Great Britain. Imperial College Boat Club, Hester, and London Rowing Club, Sophie. Great focus there from uh, Sophie Hoskins in the stroke seat. Really, really focused. She's not looking left or right. She's just rowing her race. The United States are two strokes a minute lower. Um, so that's they're strong, they're very long in the, in, the, in the way that they row. They've got a very good sit back there at the finish and they send the boat. And they're holding very well uh, alongside the Great Britain number one boat. But now look at the uh, Great Britain second boat just beginning to push up uh, into this leading, uh, leading group. Paul Reedy coaches the women's lightweight double skulls. He'll be on the far bank. And as he looks towards the 1,000-meter mark, he'll see three boats going through, and two of them are from his camp, two Great Britain crews in lane three and lane four. What a prospect as we head towards the World Championships later this year. Through the halfway mark, two Great Britain crews in the first three. Now Great Britain two of Catherine Tymon and Andrea Dennis starting to put pressure on Goodsell and Hoskin. Goodsell and Hoskin are the top boats, and the United States of America, Hedstrup and Nichols continue just to be in there, putting pressure down. We're into the third 500 meters. Remember, the maximum individual for these crews cannot exceed 59 
kilograms and the maximum crew average cannot exceed 57 kilograms. At, at bow, it's interesting to see Hester Goodsell looking across at the other, the, the other British double. She's looking across there all the time and uh, that has to disrupt the rhythm and the smooth running of their boat. If she's looking as often as that, then she starts to get mesmerized by what's happening alongside her. They're fighting very, very well, the, uh, the, the, uh, the second boat there with Twyman and Dennis sitting there. They've, been, they've pushed up well. The Great Britain number one boat should have the flexibility to be able to move in the last 500 meters. It's interesting to see whether the United States, who are beginning to fall back there, who've been rating two or three, two strokes a minute lower, uh, and now whether they can push up and start to lift their, their, their racing rate. So watch the bows of lane number three slicing through the water, slicing through the lead of Great Britain one. Goodson and Hoskin now starting to be put under more pressure. Now, Catherine Tymon and Andrea Dennis, they're in the second British boat, top of your picture. They may never get a better chance now to take a big scalp here in the women's lightweight double skulls. Coming up to 1,500 metres. There are now only 500 metres remaining. It's gone from three boats to two boats, and in those two boats are both of them are Great Britain. Paul Reedy, who coaches them, must be thinking, well, it's just going to get better and better through the season for me. The United States have started to fall back. They've come off the pace, currently in third position. And Timon and Dennis now really have to dig deep and find a little bit of more speed Goodson and Hoskin have been containing them. They've also been looking right all the way through the middle thousand. And Tymon and Dennis haven't even looked left at them. They've been totally focused in their own boat here. But now the experience of Goodsell and Hoskin, the British first boats, are starting to prevail. They're up by five feet. They just moved their rate of striking up uh, about five or ten strokes earlier. They just started to react to that. Uh, Sophie, I saw Sophie Hoskins look across. She moved her rating up. She's taking more strokes a minute now than she was before. She's moved, moving her boat away now from their, uh, their pesky rivals who are sitting there alongside them and uh, chasing them down. Now to half a length. Boat speeds now almost up. Not from quite sprinting here. They could find another gear if they were really pushed hard. They'll know at half a length that the race is well and truly with their. Timon and Dennis, though, Great Britain, two, have got to push. They've got to do one last push for 10 strokes to get them up and level with the British crew. Timon and Dennis pushing on hard. Great Britain's Goodsell and Hoskin having to contain them. It's going to be close again now as we come up to the line. Look how close into the last five strokes. But Hoskins and Goodsell take it out now to three quarters of a length. It's gold for Great Britain one and silver for Great Britain two. And the United States of America take the bronze. Well, a fabulous result down there for the Team GB. Paul Reedy will just be thinking it's just going to get better and better for me, really. I've got four international high standard lightweight double skull uh, girls. That was very strong, very strong from both, both groups, rowing really, really very, very well indeed. Um, Interesting, you've got a, 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 a very good single sculler, lightweight single sculler, who got the uh, silver medal yesterday in the, uh, in the single lightweights. So there's a squad of lightweight women doing very, very well, but can they catch the Canadian?